Welcome to the setup video for Sonar Cocos Helper. Sonar Cocos Helper is basically something that we've written and it's a collection of frameworks. It won't always just be a collection of frameworks. If we see that Cocos doesn't really have a particular feature and we think it should be there, we're implementing Sonar Cocos Helper. But it's just a sort of a toolkit for developers to help simplify their lives when creating a game. I'll give you an example. Many games have social sharing functionality. Facebook, for example, they the user can click a button, let's say where once they died and the score is displayed, let's say my score in this in this particular game is a hundred, I click share, you'll say something like, Awesome go, you scored one hundred in the game title, hashtag the game hashtag and then maybe a link to that game but the actual backend code the code that is set up for sharing is the same and that's the same for when you're displaying ad banners in ad mob doing full screen ads in child boost doing game center doing rev mob doing all these external frameworks it's essentially the same code again and again and again and we thought it'd be great if we could help simplify it hence Sonar Cocos Helper. So, there is an iOS video, which is basically the one you're watching right now. There is a separate Android tutorial to show you how to do the same, but set it up for Android. And there will be separate videos for all the different frameworks of Chartbooth, RedMob, AdMob, and all that other good stuff. There are two files you're going to need for these videos. The Sonar Cocos Helper .zip and there's external Cocos Helper iOS Frameworks .zip. There'll be a link in the description for both of these. So if we extract Sonar Cocos Helper, let's extract external Cocos Helper iOS Frameworks .zip. And first of all, let's open up Sonar Cocos Helper, and in here we have all the code files. The actually the only one code file that you as the developer has to modify is the seh settings dot header file and we'll show you once we've added these files to our next code project what you have to do in here it's really simple and the only file that you'll be interacting with in terms of calling functions will be the sonar frameworks so in the external cocos helper frameworks is all the framework files for the different frameworks of Chartbooth that we played, Google, Mobile Ads, RevMob, and there'll be more added as we add more frameworks. The versions we have in here are the latest version that we've tried and certified as working. You can try an older version, you can try a newer version, and if it works, then let us know. We're not really too concerned about an older version, but if a newer version is out and we haven't tried it yet, or we haven't confirmed that we've tried it yet, and you have, and you know it's working, then let us know. And we'll check it out and then update it accordingly. But if that doesn't work, you can just fall back on the versions that we are using and we provide. So, let's just create a fresh project so you know that we haven't done anything else we're not going to explain how to create a new cocos project as we have tutorials already on that so let's package name a sonar system dot tutorial one dash l cpp dash d for slash user for slash sonar systems for slash desktop as you can see, it is creating our project right here. It's going to take another couple of seconds. And now we're done. So if we open up the tutorial one Xcode project, project iOS map, tutorial one Xcode project. And the first step for setting this up is we need to copy this folder, the Sonar Cocos up with all these code files into our classes folder. So if we just paste it in there, open up Xcode, drag and drop the sonar. One second, let's open up class it is. As you can see, it hasn't updated because we only added it in the finder, not in Xcode. So if we drag and drop that onto Xcode in our classes folder, you don't want to select copy items if needed because we've copied them manually. You for added folders, you put create groups and for targets you only want to select iOS, click finish. And that is 
it in terms of adding files obviously you'll need to add external files or something like chart boost or revmod but that's specific to what you're doing before we show you some example code and do the final step for setting up let's just go to the sch settings header this icon file that you see right here you can actually just delete it this is just left over from our google drive because that's where we copied it from it doesn't really matter if you do that or not in the sc settings h we have some toggles and they this just allows you to set what external frameworks or what services you're using and you might be wondering why are they all enabled or why are they all disabled by default and the reason is this let's say i want to use iads i need to include the iad framework so next to it, you have a comment saying exactly what frameworks you need but that's all i want to do if everything else was enabled i would either get a whole heap of errors saying you can't find any of these frameworks right here or what would happen is I've added the frameworks and my app size is bigger and I've got unnecessary frameworks. So this way you just enable what you need. And then below it we have all the app IDs, add banner IDs, all this other stuff for the different frameworks. So if I were to enable add mob and I wanted a add banner and a full screen ad, I would get the add unit IDs from the website. When we do the separate videos for Add mob and all the other frameworks will show you where to get all these IDs from and you can put a test device ID as well instead of having to go into the actual code if you go into this there's quite a lot of objective C code and finding where to put it in you just put in the SCH settings file and we do the rest so if you go to sonar frameworks.h this is just a good way of seeing all the different functions available to you again you don't need to modify any of this this Sonar Cocos Helper is open source, so you can freely modify it as you want and add stuff, remove stuff, because you might think, oh, there's only a bit of code that I want, so you can remove, let's say, the waste in your eyes. But that's your choice. So let's just show you an example code of how to, let's say, display an ad band. Do hash include sonar frameworks.h and you need this in every file that we use in the cocos helper you also need to call sonar cocos helper ios setup this needs to be called at least once before you use the cocos helper you can call it in your scene you can call it in a splash scene that's where we recommend if you have a splash scene or on the main menu or something that generally only appears once just call it there if you call it multiple times nothing really gonna happen but it's just you're calling code unnecessarily hence you're using processing power it's not a lot but it is being used so you need this line let's make a comment above it is required so make sure you put this line somewhere in your project before you use any sonar cocos helper stuff for ios so imagine the first thing i want to do is display a ad mob ad banner you would do sonar cocos helper ad mob show banner ad and that's it once we've into once we've set up ad mob in a separate video to actually just display a ad banner ad that is all you do and what you can even do, go a step further, if you go to sonarframes.h, let me see everything's in the sonar cocos helper namespace. So what we can do is do using namespace sonar cocos helper, and we can just remove the sonar cocos helper colon colon, and you can just do it like that. I prefer to include or not use the namespace and as you can see I'll get two errors here in a moment just build it because the errors have not appeared okay let's deny that cancel yeah there we go the errors have appeared because we are no longer using the namespace in our CPP file I prefer not to use the namespace because that way I know exactly what is external so I don't get confused but again it's totally up to you you can use the namespace or you can't it's your choice but again remember once you've added the cocos helper folder in any file that you want to use the cocos helper 
add this line right here and at least once call this iOS setup function and then after that you can put banner ads, full screen ads, game center to your heart's content. That's it for this tutorial on setting up our Sonar Cocos Hope. These errors are just left over from this before so that doesn't matter. If you have any questions feel free to post it at sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question php there'll be a link in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have an amazing day